the idea of a Māori parliament is being laughed at by our colonial rulers. Colonial rulers, otherwise known as the Prime Minister, the Māori Deputy Prime Minister, and the other Māori soon-to-be Deputy Prime Minister, in the most Māori-heavy, Māori-stacked government cabinet in the history of this nation. But I do suppose colonial rulers in this day and age just means anyone that disagrees with the Aotearoa Liberation League. Look, I don't think it makes any sense. I'd be very happy for them to be in another parliament, uh, so long as they don't have the ability to tax the rest of us, so they can go and do whatever they like. Putting aside the patronising arrogance of these simple racists... Simple racists? Last I checked it was you advocating for racial separatism, not those two blokes over there. Let's just try and keep things factual. They're advocating for racial equality, you're advocating for racial separatism. Know the difference. Why is it that colonial rule, brought from distant lands and violently forced on our people and whenua, is seen as normal and necessary? I do appreciate that the overuse of one's wrists can cause some discomfort, but I don't consider the signing of a very simple document violent force. Even as they exploit not only Māori, but almost every New Zealander and the ecosystems that we all rely on. On the other hand, the idea of Māori going back to governing ourselves on our own whenua, like we always did, is considered controversial, even laughable. That's because racial separatism is commonly regarded as a controversial idea. Uh, not something that particularly works. Uh, I've certainly never seen evidence of it working. Um, but I'm sure if you want to pretend that racial separatism isn't something that should be controversial, then I'd love to hear the argument for that outside of the dribble that you're about to come up with. That's because it threatens the capitalist interests that effectively own our colonial rulers. Admittedly, this one caught me off guard. To learn that apparently the reason why the colonial rulers oppose racial separatism is because of capitalism. Who would have thought? Problem solved. Death to capitalism. I love what you're doing here. You're advocating for two of the things that you believe in and one by pushing them together, despite the fact it makes absolutely no sense. No, the reason why the government and many other people oppose racial separatism is because it's racial separatism. That on its own is bad enough. It doesn't matter how controlled by capitalist elites the government are or other politicians are. They're going to oppose racial separatism anyway. Unless, of course, they can find a way for it to become extremely profitable. The likes of mega landlords, oil corporations, industrial agriculture, the super wealthy, they know that Māori care about more than just money. And that makes us harder to buy. Harder to buy. How many Māori, you know, got a jab because they were offered money and vouchers to do it? How many Māori completed the census because they were offered money and vouchers to do it? How many Māori had their data stolen by other Māori <laughs> because they were offered money and vouchers to do so? Yeah, I don't know if you're necessarily in touch with the average Māori who is struggling to get through their day-to-day -day life for whatever reason it happens to be. Māori are far too diverse to make such generalising statements. They will fight tooth and nail against the return of any power from the colony back to Māori. We'll fight harder, of course. And I hope Pākehā and Tauwi, we can see that the fight for Māori self-determination is our country's best defence. And the capitalists know this very well. That's why we're seeing them fund this comprehensive attack against Te Iwi Māori. Now it's just up to us, the masses, to realise it. What is interesting is he's actually dog-whistling to anti-globalists and socialist slash communist Marxists. He's trying to take people from both of those groups and rally them together to support racial separatism because he knows racial separatism is not a popular idea. The guy is clutching at straws to justify support for racial separatism. And I'm going to continue to emphasize racial separatism here because he is arguing that it is not controversial to implement racial separatism. That the government only opposes ra racial separatism because of capitalism because of elites, essentially because of globalist elites. And that is why he's trying to get the anti-globalists, which I'm one, and he's trying to get the anti-coloniser slash communists over there. I mean, extremists are going to extreme.